Oh, I'm back again. Sorry, folks. It's, uh... I got cut off with the last one. But, um... See... This is another one of my pop bottles. This one here is New Grape. It's from the 1940s, possibly 30s, 1930s. It's New Grape, a flavor you can't forget. Got a lot of those. Guess you couldn't forget them. This one here, this is the example I was telling you about when you when you dig up a bottle and you wipe it off. There's a label there. But you can hardly, this is, it's Credit Valley Pop. Um, it's pretty much the value has gone in that. If there's any value left in the bottle, but as far as the value in that bottle, it's gone. But, uh, okay, this is a milk bottle from the 1960s. This is what I remember getting at the door from as a kid, a milk bottle. This is a milk bottle from the 1950s, late 1950s. Um, don't remember these. It's before my time. And then this one here is from the 1940s. So things changed after the war. Um, during the war, there wasn't much of anything they had to save it for the war effort. But I also collect this little Pepsi jar. This was actual pop came in this. It was in the night 1980s. But it was just sample size. This drink. Pepsi, the 1980s. Um, of course, we've seen the Javix bottle. This was here in the 1930s, 1940s. As the trademark, this was uh, 41 ounces. Okay, I was going to tell you what I do, and I got one of them out now, so I'll show you this, is when I'm out at garage sales, now this is a Canadian buck, but works just as well, I'm sure you can find American or English, and it, what it does, it has descriptions of everything in it furniture everything it also has pricing you know this has got the large cents it's got coins Canadian coins everything but what I like uh, probably the one doesn't even have bottles in it but what I like is uh, okay it doesn't have bottles wrong one I picked anyways I don't the rest of my books are in the garage Okay, we'll use this for example. It has a description of this glass. It has who made it. It has a brief story of the company. And you can pick this book up for you know, 25 cents at garage sale. Prices will be wrong, but the information won't be, or shouldn't be. Um, this book my Uncle John helped write his name's in it. But they're fascinating. But as you can see, my books are not unpacked. This is one of my display cases. One of my bottles. I still have to attach it to the wall. But I thought I would um, give you a little Some of my bottles as I get them unpacked. I'm gonna make videos as I go. So you get to see my collection as I unpack it. And uh, this is gonna be my treasure room. This is my rec room. And 
I'm going to have a computer set up here. The TV is going to be over there. So, uh, this, is my, this is the basement. And as I unfold, unpack treasures, I'm going to bring them to you. So, uh, excuse my hair. My hair is a mess. Anyways, take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And stay tuned um, to my videos this winter for my collection. I'm going to try to put out some a week. Uh, not just bottles, but some of my other collections. I do have a lot. A lot of collections. Once you get started collecting, you don't know when to quit. Okay, take care. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Take care.